Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Boring Company and SpaceX Warehouse Construction Update. For today, I thought I would try something a little bit different rather than my normal Giga Texas construction update. And instead, I headed about 25 kilometers or 18 miles east on Highway 71 to go check out what is going on with the Boring Company and also with a new SpaceX warehouse construction project. As you can see by the image here, uh, Giga Texas is located about uh, the center bottom third of the screen at near the intersection of Highway 130 and Highway 71. And you can also see the International Airport and where it is in relation to Giga Texas. Now, as we continue to head on 71 towards the east, uh, you'll notice that there's a Neuralink campus uh, sign that is a new project as well. I stopped there today to see if there was any noticeable construction. And there was some, but I can't say for sure if that is where Neuralink uh, is going to be built. But uh, the map gives you a really good indication of that. So it'll be something else that I uh, track. But as I continued farther on Highway 71, you can see with that large arrow, this is where both SpaceX and Boring Company are doing construction projects. And uh, if you look at the bottom left of this image, the large structure is the new SpaceX warehouse. And according to several reports, it's about 520 square feet in size. It looks to me like it's at least two floors on portions of it. And then the other image is the main entrance to the Boring Company. And the facilities here have grown tremendously over the last, say, six to eight months, and it is now a full-fledged site in and of itself. So without any further ado, I'll go ahead and start the video up. We'll fly around the entire site, and we'll see both the warehouse construction and also the new uh, and expanded Boring Company uh, site. So here we're starting off the flight around the SpaceX warehouse first, and you can see the Boring Company off to the left. We're looking generally to the south, slightly southeast at this point in time. And this is the first time that I've actually been at this site, so I'll talk my way through it a little bit, but I don't have as much detail information as I do about Giga Texas. But what you can see is uh, at the foreground, this is what looks like the material staging location, also for a lot of the uh, equipment and some of the vehicles. Also, it looks like some of the trailers, probably for the uh, construction company. Now, on the, this side of the SpaceX warehouse, it looks like most of the receiving doors are located, and it looks like most of them have the doors installed, although they're continuing to uh, install the exterior wall panels. And generally speaking, it looks like this building is going to be white with black accents, and you'll see a lot more of that on the other side. But as we continue to fly now on the west side heading to the south, you can kind of get an idea of the rising sun. You may see some fog off into the distance as well. This area it looks like it's a lot of uh, old farm pasture with some hills around. Uh, very scenic, actually. I wish that I had a little bit better sun angle right now, but uh, it'll improve as I continue around on the south side and start to uh, heading back towards the east. Uh, you can also see quite a bit of rainwater uh, ponding around. We have had a lot of rain in the area and it's affected not only this construction site but also back over by Giga Texas as well. But as we continue to uh, turn the drone and try to take advantage of the sun as much as I can, you can start seeing that black accent and this will kind of follow along the bottom part of the building until it gets about three-fourths of the way towards the beginning or the uh, front of the building. And then it starts uh, in an upward trend and it makes it kind of a character line on the structure. It looks to me like at least 30% uh, or so of the final roof insulation and weatherproof membrane has been installed, but quite a bit of the steel decking is uncovered at this point in time. Uh, here you can see that black uh, trim stripe starting to angle up and it will uh, 
come up to that uh, edge or the corner of the building and then you'll see it's going to angle itself back down. So again, a very uh, characteristic uh, uh, trim treatment, I suppose. Also in the foreground, you can see a boring tunnel exiting here, right nor towards that uh, uh, corner of the building. And the tunnel will go down into the ground underneath the road and then it will uh, re-emerge on the boring company side of the road. And that's what we're starting to see here. Now the boring company facilities have grown tremendously over the last six to eight months. Originally it had just a few of these concrete sections, maybe a, one of the boring machines, and then this one small white tent that you see. And as I continue to fly towards the east, we'll reveal quite a bit more of the facility. Uh, that tunnel, by the way, that's coming out of the ground also has those uh, um, pieces of uh, equipment that was recently uh, put out by the Boring Company uh, official site uh, with a Model 3 into that, uh, that uh, pipe and they were talking about uh, maybe a, a low-speed hyperloop, I don't know, but that's where that was actually made. And here you can clearly see the uh, expanded facility, the boring company emblems on some of the structures. There's a very large uh, yellow crane and also some concrete uh, being poured today. It looks like there's a driveway uh, in and around where that uh, uh, boring tunnel came out of the ground. Now here's something interesting. It looks like they've added in sort of a housing complex uh, complete with a uh, sports center, outdoor a tennis court, or uh, it looks like maybe a, a small soccer court, and also a swimming pool. And you can see some of the structures here. It looks like uh, maybe worker housing. Uh, it could be very uh, handy as the workers will come in here and work uh, for periods of time and then they would theoretically be off to wherever their uh, construction is going to be taking place. Uh, as far as I know, there is a planned boring tunnel over at Giga Texas and I covered that uh, on my 25 November video. But uh, there's also talk of other boring tunnels possibly connecting Austin and San Antonio, one down in San Antonio as well, and then possibly one connecting uh, Giga Texas with the International Airport. So those, I'm not sure uh, when and if they may start, um, uh, but uh, the details that I have, I've either covered on previous videos or it's something that I'll be continuing to monitor. As we uh, finish up on the east side and head back towards the north side, uh, this will give you a really good idea of this large white uh, structure, this uh, we'll call it maybe a warehouse or maybe a giant workshop. This has been added fairly recently to this uh, site. And as I mentioned earlier in the site, that uh, rounded top tent was originally the only structure on this site about uh, a year or less ago. But uh, on this side, you can see that there's some uh, trailers, uh, possibly for some equipment uh, storage. And you also see what looks like some uh, components near that tree that may be for the uh, proof rock machine it's w itself. But uh, this uh, trip back towards the west gives you an idea of how the Boring Company site uh, looks right now. A little bit wet from all the rains, but uh, uh, as I mentioned, it's definitely uh, uh, expanded in size. The entranceway that you see right at the middle of the screen, it's uh, listed as deliveries. So uh, um, there's this entrance and then there's another main entrance. Um, and then we're back going across this road and uh, taking a look at the SpaceX warehouse again. Also see some of that fog in the background. Uh, that's kind of typical this time of year in uh, uh, this part of Texas. But I will do a pullback to try to uh, give you a good view of the entire two sites. Um, as you can see, the SpaceX one is on the west side of the road. The Boring Company is on the east side of the road. And if you were to continue towards the west about uh, 18 miles or 25 kilometers, you would get right to Giga, Texas. 
But anyway, this is a quick video of these two construction sites, and I hope uh, with the discussion, what we've seen in the video, and hopefully this pullback as well gives you a really good idea of just how close they are located together, how close they are to Giga Texas, and what they look like today on Monday, the 28th of November. I'll try to cover this again uh, maybe in a few weeks or maybe at the beginning of uh, next year. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a different view of some of the projects that are going on in and around the area of Giga Texas. Have a great day.